everybody, this is a very quick update just to show you how things have progressed with the Spider Farmer SF1000. Um, I've, uh, I'm calling it a day with the chilies. Um, they haven't fully ripened. I'm going to take these down to the allotment because I'm trying to get things tied out in here as I will be uh, sorting out this for my new growing uh, season uh, which will start, which actually pretty much started already. Um, but I will be putting onions underneath the Spider Farmer light um, and they'll be started at the end of October. Uh, beginning of November but I want to get everything cleaned out in here and I want to get everything changed around because I won't be um, heating this entire shed up this year for the for the onions that I'll be growing so let me show you the, the outcome of the chilies um, and then uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing with the spider farmer light so here's just three of the plants that I grew underneath the spider farmer SF1000 and um, I've grown this solely under lights there's been no sunshine in here at all um, so these have just been grown under the light itself in final pots were five litre pots and the chili variety that I've grown over the summer inside the inside here are the Joe's long chili now I like the Joe's long chili is they're a nice flavor and also they're a nice big fruit as well um, and as you can see from a five litre pot I've getting lots of fruit on here and this would continue on fruiting as it is here as well as you can see flowering still going on so I could have carried carried these on for a long time um, there, there, and this one here has lots of fruit on here as well as you can see it's a nice big nice big fruits um, I have had a problem with white fly and green fly which is still an ongoing situation but that's lessons learned from mine from me um the leaves are sticky from the sprays that i've been putting on but uh, it hasn't it hasn't stopped but well, it will have stopped some of the things i mean this is just un unreal this look at this it's a uh, it's a nightmare but that's me lesson learned it's nothing to do with light or anything like that but as of an experiment i'm quite impressed I'm very impressed with the fruit that i've got from such a from such a small pot um and it is a large large plant as well i will be growing these next year um outside in the greenhouse um as plans of, of like i say on, always changing but that's the outcome the final outcome these will ripen off and then the plants will then you can you can't actually keep these plants going over the winter but i'm not because i'm getting things prepared so that's how things have progressed and that's the final outcome from the chilies that i've grown here Overall, like I say, I am a novice when it comes to growing under lights. Um, it's only my full first year in actually growing. Um, the lights have been very cheap to run, uh, which has been fantastic for me for actually building the shed. Um, and also, they do go off a fair bit of heat as well, which is great, especially with the winter months. So if you do have this unit in a tent, for example, it will heat the tent up as well, which is an added bonus. Um, obviously, ventilation is key. You need to have your ventilation. Um, I've learned that throughout the course of the past few uh, like past six to eight months as well um but all in all it's a great light it's a great light to start seeds off and it's also as you can see here it's a great light to grow plants under as well so uh like i say thumbs up from me so thanks again to the guys at spider farmer um and uh i look forward to continue using the light and uh working you guys moving forward